I think that deep down we have all felt that I'm going to start with this. <laughs> Everyone, we're going on a road trip. Road trip? Vacation! <laughs> and Bonnie had a great day in class. She made a new friend. I want you to meet Forky. Hello. Hi. <gasps> He's a sport. Toy Story 3 was originally announced as the ending to the Toy Story franchise, and it was really a perfect ending to the trilogy. Yeah. What uh, con convinced you to, to do uh, Toy Story 4? Yeah, you know, I don't think that was a lie. I think they really thought that was the end at the time that they might have said that. <laughs> we, all, we thought that too. You know, but, but Andrew, um, who was one of the executive producers and writers on our film, part of all the Toy Story nice. movies, he had a different idea. He had secretly been kind of writing an outline for a four but it hadn't, didn't tell anybody about it for years. I had the same questions everybody did. I had them actually five years ago when we were starting. It was, uh, why? I thought we were done. I thought the three was the end. Um, when I um, met with Andrew Stanton, who's our executive producer and the writer of our film, he said the way he, he saw the end of three was the end of Woody's time with Andy, but there actually is more Woody's story to tell. When he said that, I went, oh, okay. So now that Woody's in a new room, it's not going to be the same as it was with Andy. It can't be. So how is this going to work? And that's where I went, oh, I can see this feels different. This feels like something we've never seen before. So that's what got me excited about it. I was made for soup, salad, maybe chili. I am not a toy. I'm a letter. Freedom! <gasps> It was the way Andrew said it to us that I, I, I will always remember mm -hmm. in that because we were we, we were honest about our, our feelings that it felt like such a great ending and he said it, it, but you have to understand Woody is the driver has always been the protagonist of Toy Story and that ending as powerful as it is is about Andy. It's about Andy and Woody's relationship, but kind of Andy's goodbye. That's not, Woody has another chapter. His, his thing was like, I've never seen it that way. And the question is, if you believe Woody's going to be in Bonnie's room, then you have to accept that it's not going to be the same as it was at Andy's. And if it's not the same, then there's a million, very, like, what is it like? What's he like when he's not in first position? What if he's not played with? What if she doesn't like him? What if she, you know, all these what ifs came in. And by the end of that conversation, we were sitting forward and thought, that is interesting. What if, and that part, the, the part was, what if Bo Peep came in and taught him something he's never thought about, the chance him change who, who he is, which really felt cool. It felt like a really rich character opportunity, which is what we love, you mm -hmm. know. She was always a major part of the story. We even called the story Peep internally as our code name. And, uh, I knew that having her return could be really cool and really exciting, and to have her return as a lost toy and, and, and having lived a whole life that we never saw and that Woody's never seen just felt like a great way to, to bring them back together. The other movies are driven by Woody's basically trying to keep his job, right? Woody's been driven by this fear of losing his job. Buzz threatens that. He it comes into question in Toy Story 2 when he has a decision to make on where he'll go. And of course, 3, trying to hold on to Andy for as long as he can. This is different. This is now him questioning, like, well, what is my, what am I really supposed to be doing? Like, what, what's my role in the world? You know, what, what do I do? And that's a deeper, I think, deeper question for the character to ask, influenced by this return of Bo, who, who kind of shows him that his point of view isn't wrong, but it may be narrow in some way, that there's something he's missing. And I just think that's human and somehow relatable, maybe. We hope, anyway. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're not going anywhere. Woody, behind you! If there's one thing I know, it's that a toy's job Kaboom. is never done. How is it working with Tom Hanks and Tim Allen, who have both played Woody and Buzz for nearly 25 years? It was incredible. They um, they know these characters so well. Um, but, you know, I I really relied on them, their expertise doing these characters. That uh, I'd say something like, uh, "Here's a couple lines. I'm not. This doesn't quite feel right to me yet. But like, what do you what do you guys think?" And and they would answer having, you know, as Woody's voice, they'd say, well, maybe something like this, and they'd alter enough that it was like, oh, that's perfect, that sounds, that sounds like in the voice, literally in the voice of the characters. Yeah, it's, it's incredible. Those guys are just world-class talents, and, and the history they have with these characters, it just runs deep. So it was really exciting for us. You know, we spend a few years working on these stories before we call them in and get the chance to sort of pitch these new stories to them. And so we did have a moment with Tom and a moment with Tim where we had the chance to let them know the story we were hoping to tell and get a genuine reaction from, from them. And that, that was an exciting day. Yeah, that, their reaction actually was the 
sort of receipt back to us that this might work because we watch them go from, oh, listening, oh, this is fun, to, wait, what? I mean, both of them had a, a reaction like that, and you and I were like, okay, if we can get those two guys to sit forward, and in other words, they sat forward like they didn't see what was coming, it surprised them. Mm -hmm. That's our job to do that to the audience, so they were the first kind of audience members. <laughs> you know? I remember we were recording with Tom on the last day, and we did a bunch of lines, and he said, okay, what's next? And I went, I think that's it, I think we're done. And he's like, really? And we, yeah, yeah, and I think everybody in the room could feel it. We were just like, okay, this is a this is a moment. We actually took the time to kind of appreciate that. And um, same with Tim. It was, in fact, that was the same day, and it was both both recording sessions were before lunch. <laughs> I remember going to lunch, going, I am emotionally wiped, <laughs> just because it's heavy. You know, these 25 years they've been doing these characters. Let's go. Class, Tom, I gotta find Woody. The slingshot maneuver. Thanks, inner voice. To infinity and beyond. Yeah! Go! Hey, up here, Astro Boy.